Naruto, 10 Things That Make No Sense About Dojitsu Dojitsu is a rare type of Kekiai Genkai in the form of eyes like the Sharingan Rinnegan. The logic behind the eyes doesn't always make sense though. In the world of Naruto, Dojitsu helps set a ninja apart from others. An Uchiha or Hyuga are always held up to a higher standard than those without their specialty eyes. It's why they are as coveted as they are. Villains from Danzo to Orochimaru all desiring them to help complete their goals. Even normal soldiers like Ao made sure to swipe them when given the opportunity. There's no debating how strong Dojitsu is. The Uchiha possess the ability to rewrite time, while someone like Hinata is able to render a person paralyzed with a single strike. For as powerful as their eyes are, there's a lot that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. 10. Why doesn't the Byakugan require steps to manifest? The Sharingan and Rinnegan both require several steps to become active inside a user, some of which are very steep steps that need to be taken. The Byakugan, on the other hand, doesn't require any of that. It's active since birth, seen in how a full-blooded Hyuga's eyes are always taking on that milky white appearance. The only exception is with half-blood such as Himawari, whose eyes only shift when she activates the Byakugan. It's strange that a dojitsu this strong doesn't require anything to be able to use it not even Hyuga blood as Ao showed. 9. Ao is able to toggle the Byakugan on-off. For a relatively minor character until Baruto, Ao opened up an interesting can of worms when it came to the Byakugan. Unlike the Sharingan, the Byakugan could be activated and dormant based on his whims. As Danzo and Kakashi showed with the Sharingan, that wasn't a luxury they were afforded, always having to cover it to avoid exhaustion. It doesn't make sense why Ao wouldn't have to go through the same pitfalls since he wasn't of Hyuga blood. 8. There are no precautions taken to avoid eye transplants. The Sharingan and Byakugan were well known as two of the three great dojitsu, while the Rinnegan was more of a myth at the start of the series. Why weren't precautions taken to prevent thieves from taking fallen members' eyes for themselves? The Hyuga did when it came to those who were outcast, but never thought about it when it came to its more normal members. The same holds true of the Uchiha, who failed to protect their dojitsu and allowed someone like Danzo to acquire an entire stash of eyes for himself. 7. Eye transplants are too easy. At first, dojitsu seems so unique to the clans who have them, but by the end of the series, it seems like anyone can get the eyes if they really wanted them. From Ao stealing it to Kakashi being gifted one by Abito, it felt like they were being given out like birthday gifts to people. The worst offender may have been Madara, who gave his eyes to Nagato and then had to take them from Abito. There was never any explanation for why they worked either. It was something that just had to be accepted. 6. Byakugan has no defense against Jinjutsu. On the surface, there's nothing wrong with this as the Byakugan should have different abilities from the Sharingan to help differentiate the two from each other. That gets muddled when users of the Byakugan can see when others are using a Genjutsu due to their ability to see chakra. Ao even managed to know that Yagura was under the influence of Genjutsu, leading to their eventual removal as Mizukic. Why then couldn't it help combat being trapped in one? 5. Evolutions are not consistent between different dojitsu. It was one thing when the Sharingan had three different stages to it, starting in a base form and eventually reaching the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Those at least required grand sacrifices to achieve it. The Tensigen didn't need any of that to be achieved. All Tonari needed was a Byakugan implanted into himself, and the mixing of Atsutsuki blood helped evolve it to a new state. What's even stranger about it is that members of the Hyuga clan are already descendants of the Atsutsuki anyway. 
4. The Sharingan is portrayed as being so much stronger than the Byakugan. Both Dojitsu having different abilities is fine, even if the Sharingan had the slight advantage at the start. That slight advantage became a ridiculously large gap by the end of the series, with the Sharingan on par with the Rinnegan, even if the Rinnegan was meant to be the Alpha and Omega of all Dojitsu. A big reason for this lies with the constant power-ups to the Sharingan, none larger than the Izanami and Izanagi, two abilities allowing the user to rewrite reality. 3. Rinnegan users can revert down to other Dojitsu. For as strong as the Rinnegan is, it'd make sense that when it's achieved, there would be no need for other Dojitsu, nor would such be possible. Naturally, that isn't the case as Madara could revert his back to Mangekyo Sharingan whenever he wanted to. And he was far from the only one. Yurashiki Atsutsuki could utilize the Rinnegan and Byakugan at will. Depending on which one he needed at the time. It felt like an attempt to put them all on equal footing. 2. Reincarnations of Indra Azura were needed to unlock the Rinnegan. As more of Naruto's lore came into play, the number of steps needed to unlock the Rinnegan seemed entirely up to chance. It didn't just require a Sharingan and Senju cells, or Danzo would have been able to unlock the eyes. No, it needed the reincarnations of both Indra and Azura to be pulled off. It made it so ridiculously hard to manage and cheapen Sasuke's rivalry with Naruto in the process, making it so they were always destined to be that way due to lineage. The same held true with Madara and Hashirama. 1. Baruto's Jogen seems more like a new form of the Byakugan. The entire existence of the Jogen seems superficial and unnecessary, only a means of giving Baruto something cool and unique to use. It's tied to the Atsutsuki clan, as everything in Baruto seems to be, and allows the user to be able to track chakra and see invisible barriers in between dimensions. In essence, it just feels like a souped-up version of the Byakugan, which is probably what it should have been. It would have given it a nice new form to catch it up to the Sharingan. <laughs>